Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. So, I've been gone because I've just been on vacation and I just have not had time to film at all. I didn't pre-film anything, so sorry about it, but I'm back. Honestly, I feel like I'm being so, so slack, but just like life in general. I'm a senior in high school. I'm preparing to go to college. I'm trying to get all A's and B's this last semester. Y'all, I have 30 like more school days until graduation. I cannot wait. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get through my <laughs> last couple of weeks of school. So I'm sorry that I've been inconsistent, but I promise you in the summertime, I'll be a lot better with it. So today I'm kind of doing like a lot of things in one video. I am doing like a skin cake, I mean makeup first impressions, some hair care first impressions, which I've never done hair care first impressions. And then I have like kind of a haul and then I kind of have like an update slash a get ready with me. This video is gonna be all over the place, but I think that it's good to start back with. So I have my hair up in this turvy towel and I want to talk about the hair care products I used in the shower. I didn't film in the shower because, uh, I don't know how beauty gurus do that. It's so hard, one, and two, it's just kind of awkward. So that wasn't happening with me, but um, I will show you guys what shampoo and conditioner I used. But before we get to my hair, I'm going to take one of these buddies. This is Yes to Cucumber um, Soothing Hydro. I can't read without my glasses, y'all. Hypoallergenic facial wipe. So this is supposed to remove makeup. I don't know. Ulta right now is having their, I don't know what it's called, spring haul. This is what it's called. They had 21 days of beauty, but I don't think that's the same thing as today. So it's something like, they had it last week and then this week. They may have had it before that, but I just noticed it from last week and this week. And each week they have like some stuff on sale. So this was one of them. I don't know how much this originally was. I think it was 50% off and I got it for $4. So it was around $8. Um, I don't know exactly the price, but these smell really good so far i've never used these before but i realized i need to make a remover one i did test out some foundation in the store on my skin so oh yeah i still got some on my face i just got out of the shower but i didn't wash my face so hopefully this will get everything off okay so now we're going in with some um moisturizer this is pond's dry skin cream so we're gonna put that on okay so as far as hair care goes my sister left for the Air Force and she left a whole bunch of stuff here and she said I can have it. So to wash my hair, I used this um, Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. This is mine. I love this stuff. It does not make my hair feel like stripped of its natural oils when I'm done with it. And then for conditioner, this is my sister's. She gave me the Shea Moisture Baobab is how my app <laughs> pronounces it. So it's Baobab and Tea Tree Oils Low Porosity Protein Free Conditioner. And it says it will soften and balance moisture resistant curly coily hair. This is the first time obviously of me using this conditioner. And it is very, very mint. It's very thick one. That was my first impression. It smells like really different. And it's very, very like tingly. So it's kind of like if you guys have ever used a mint conditioner. That's what it feels like on your roots. I didn't put it on the ends of my hair because it felt like it wasn't going to like moisturize my hair so I kind of just put it towards the root and also it's very very thick well a lot of it goes a little way so I feel like I was putting so much in and I didn't want to waste it because the bottle is very very small so if you guys are looking for a conditioner that's really good for curly hair that you if you're the kind of person that conditions your hair every day like me and you just want a quick one that's very cheap I totally recommend the Aussie conditioner so I put that in the ends of my hair because I felt like that wasn't going to do anything and it was not going to detangle my hair but yeah this is my hair what it looks like now it's been sitting in this towel for about 20 minutes so not very long at all and all of the moisture is wicked out now I don't like having like damp hair like this to do um my products I like to have it pretty much not soaking wet but wet enough so I'm gonna spray my hair with a spray bottle until it's wet to my desire what I like to do is put a cream and then a gel I put a cream to soften it and like you know enhance the curls and then I use a gel to lock it in so for the cream I'm using the Maui Moisture Curl Quench Coconut Oil Curl Smoother and this stuff smells amazing we're gonna put a good amount of this in my hair I'm gonna split it I'm just gonna put this in my hair I feel like it's getting all over the place so if I'm like out of the frame it's because I'm gonna get it on the floor and not on me so that is this side, kind of quick. So now we're going with my gel, Eco Sara gel. This is not my first time using it. I love it. The kind I have is the black castor and flaxseed oil because 
one, it does not make my hair crunchy and it smells really good. And also I don't just ask my sister what kind she liked and she said that's her favorite kind. So now we're just gonna bring that through my hair. I don't do anything special. Now for the last step, I'm taking this Argan Oil Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. It's just kind of like a spray that you just spray in your hair. So I'm gonna do that, just throughout my hair. That is it for my hair right now. I'm going to put one of these things on so my hair is out of my face while I do my makeup. Now moving on to makeup, I don't, I do have a primer, I lied. So I'm gonna start off with primer if I can find it. The primer I've been using is not new. It's the Maybelline Master Prime. I'm running out, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this and then come back because it's not new. So after primer comes foundation, and I actually have two new foundations to my life because two of them that I had ran out, so I placed it with two more um, from different brands. So first, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the color 110. And this one is awesome, it's full coverage. I got this, was that yesterday? No way I got this yesterday. I got this a couple days ago. I went to Ulta like two times in a week, which I normally don't do, but I spent way too much makeup there. Makeup? Way too much money there, but it's okay. Um, yeah, this is awesome. It's very inexpensive. I heard, I think I heard it first from Luster Lux or Katie. And she just raves about this, so I decided to go ahead and try it, and it's awesome like she says. The next foundation I have is the Wet n Wild foundation in the color Amber Beige. Now, I had to say something about my Ulta trip today. I was very disappointed because, first of all, I'm not sure if it's Wet n Wild that has this, or Ulta. I think it's Ulta. Um, but they only sold, sold up in the store up to a certain shade range, and once it got to that shade, it was online only. So I checked them on, and I was caramel. I kind of like liked caramel the most. Amber Beige is the one right underneath that. That is so annoying. They had every, I'm pretty sure they had every shade of white there, but not like the rest of them from the darkest shades up weren't there. And then I looked at the Milani foundation because I was like, mm, this looks too white for me. I'm not going to try it. Looked at the Milani foundation because I heard that was good. And every other shade was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 13. What? What is up with your Ulta? I'm not sure if it's Ulta or the brand, but I'm pretty sure it's Ulta. So, <laughs> yeah, that was a little disappointment. This is on sale right now for $3.59 USD. My mom and my sister rave about it, so I was like, I have to try it. It's $3 right now, and normally it's like 5 so it's still very cheap, but I wanted to try it when it was 3 So, anyway, this has a, like, I don't know what they call this. It's kind of like a... I don't know what this is called. You guys can see it with your eyes. That's what the applicator looks like. So I'm going, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like just a tiny, tiny bit light. So we're gonna apply that. I thought that's not hygienic, but uh, whatever. I'm gonna blend it on my neck. <laughs> I feel like I look like a ghost right now. This is definitely, I did just get back from Mexico. So this definitely would be my shade if it was like winter, but it, we're going into summer. And this is definitely <laughs> way, way too light for me. I think my concealer actually might be darker than this. This is what my skin looks like now. It actually covered up really, really nicely. And as you guys can tell, I didn't use that much. And I used a beauty blender. Normally when I use a beauty blender, the product shears out and it's not good. So I cannot imagine what it looks like without the beauty blender. And I forgot to do this. I've been loving like putting like, um, highlighters, liquid highlighters on and then blend my foundation on with my liquid highlighter. And the shade range isn't too bad. Maybe when I sit here, it'll start like looking more my skin color. It's not bad. It's just, it could be a little better. So, um, yeah. So now moving on to concealer. I'm taking the Makeup Revolution um, concealer in C12. And this stuff, y'all, I actually kind of like it. People compare it to Shark Tape, Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> But I would say it's a little bit more of a thin, oh that, that's definitely darker than my foundation. Okay. It is a bit more of a thinner consistency than the Tarte Shape Tape, but the coverage is definitely there. It definitely does cover everything. One thing I will say about this um, Wet n Wild foundation, which I'm not sure if it's my Beauty Blender or the foundation, but I feel like whenever I put my Beauty Blender on my face, it's almost like sticky. Like the foundation feels a little bit sticky. And also, I'm not sure if I said that, but that concealer is now sold in stores. And I'm mad because I bought everything I got online so that I wouldn't, because I knew that they didn't have that concealer in stores. And of course, the next day, I go and I got that package. I go on Ulta, and there it is on the shelves being displayed. I'm like, wow, I paid $5 in shipping when I could have got it here. 
without paying shipping. Now I'm going in with a new powder. This is the Fit Me powder from Maybelline. It is full coverage. It's definitely not a setting powder. It is definitely a powder foundation. It says loose finishing powder, but when I put it on, y'all, I swear it covered up everything. And this is in the shade 30 or medium deep. I'm kind of trying on purpose to avoid my under eyes because I'm going to go in with some banana powder for that. But you can't tell me right now that my base foundation does not look flawless because I don't see any flaws right now. Wow. And that's with all drugstore. I am shook. Shook it to the max. Kind of baked. So now the rest of the products I have are not brand new. Actually, I lied. When I get to a mascara and eyelash color, they are new, but that's not really fun. But I'm gonna do everything until I get to another new thing because then I don't want to bore y'all with stuff that's not my first impression. So let's go. Oh wow. Hope my house doesn't fly over. Okay, here's my face looks like right now. I feel like the lighting is very overexposed so you guys can't see. I'm done with eyeshadow, now I'm going on to mascara. I actually got a new eyelash color, this is Ulta brand. It was on sale for their um, sale thing, but it was last week and not this week, I'm sorry. But it was only $5, so we're gonna use this. And now for mascara, I'm taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Y'all, it's so dark right now. It's not super dark, but it's dark and it's only $2.40. So. I'm taking it in black and it's waterproof, so. Okay, so now I'm done with my makeup. I'm going to set it with the Mar Videsco Skincare um, Spray. This is not the Rose Louder one, though, so this is a first impression. Haven't tried this one. I read out of all my setting sprays, so I'm going to use another one. This is a facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I think this one is good for brightening your skin. I don't know. Ooh, it's in my eye. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Love. So, final impressions. Well, let me take off my hair thing and look at my hair. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna do the Kira. Wait, Kira. I get my YouTubers mixed up sometimes. There's a Kira and there's a Kyra, and I get them both mixed up. Kyra is who I'm talking about. Kyra did it, so I did it. Oh, wow. The power just flashed. Hmm. I'm gonna die tonight. Oh my god. I feel like I look so different. I forgot to do bronzer, but I really don't care. I don't do that all the time anyway. So this is the finished makeup look. I'm gonna turn down the light and get a little closer so you guys can see a little bit more. My hair actually feels amazing. It feels very nice. And the curls look pretty decent. So let's get closer. I'm really close right now because I want you to see how everything looks. So I'm gonna do a little turn. So the foundation looks phenomenal so foundation neck arm so it doesn't look very bad i am going to wear it for the rest of the day and see how it actually kind of conforms to my skin color if it ever does but i don't think it looks too bad i do look green right now for some reason the lighting is looking weird um i think that's the main thing i tested out was the foundation the setting powder i mean the setting spray the powder was new but I wasn't testing it out for the first time today, so yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. And also, I'm running out of video ideas. So if you guys would like to give me some ideas for more videos to come, let me know down in the comments. If you guys are new to my channel and this is the first video of you, this is the first video you're watching, um, what are you doing? You should subscribe because I am the great, right? So I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey! I just wanna get closer